Assalomu alaykum, hurmatli talabalar. Bugun sizlar bilan O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi katta o'qituvchisi Jabbarova Nazima Kamoliddinovna. Ma'ruzamni mavzusi ertaklar yordamida xorijiy tillarni o'qitish. Boshlang'ich sinflarda chet til o'qitish metodikasi 4-kurs fanidan bitta ma'ruza hisoblanadi. Xo'p, keling ma'ruzamni ingliz tilida olsam. Let me introduce my topic then we will move to the another parts of my lecture. My lecture is about fairy tales for teaching young learners. What kind of fairy tales you can use in your lessons? What is the main aim of teaching fairy tales during the lesson? And what kind of language areas could be very helpful to you while you are teaching fairy tales? I'll give some sample activities for teaching fairy tales. Okay. Teaching young learners, it's not so difficult task. Usually we can use different songs, fairy tales, fun stories, humor dancing, and movement kinesthetic learning styles for teaching young learners. Young learners usually like to play games, like to play the roles during the lesson. And they like to watch the movies, cartoons, and colorful, uh, just uh, visual aids. Aim of my lesson, how could you teach the young learners to the, uh, fairy with the help of fairy tales? For the learners, usually you need to choose familiar fairy tale, like Zumrat Qamati in Uzbek language, they should know about Cinderella. Or a lot of them to play the main characters of the fairy tale. Try to introduce different types of vocabulary with the help of fairy tales. For example, if it's Cinderella, ask them to tell about the stepmother, father, or family member. Or about clothes, if it's just Kuloyim uh, or Zumrat Khammat. To help the older primary children, you can use some different language areas. For example, comparative form of the adjectives, past simple, and so on. What kind of materials could be helpful for teaching fairy tales? Usually, you need to use different colorful fairy tales. These fairy tales could be just easy to understand and they should be colorful, first of all, because they are young learners, they love this kind of books. Not only fairy tales, you can use different kind of the flashcards. With the help of these flashcards, you can use uh, different colors, different uh, characters from the fairy tales. Only flashcards could be show the fairy tale just story characters and plus you can use the worksheets for pre-activity, while activity and post-reading activities. A about fairy tales. When you choose a fairy tale they should be colorful at the same time happy and uh, fairy tales because they wait the happy end at the end of your fairy tale. They should learn something from each of your fairy tale. It should be just uh, with the positive characters and positive heroes and heroines. It shouldn't be harmful like this. Uh, it should be just a funny fairy tale. Okay. Uh, let's start with the tips. What kind of just tasks will be helpful for your young learners? Young learners usually try to play the different kinesthetic rules. That's why you need to choose a fairy tale which is a familiar story and imaginative context. Choose one each uh, your child already knows in their own language. Try to use a simple version. It shouldn't be difficult to understand with difficult vocabulary. Involve your pupils to the storytelling. Try to tell the story together. You will start, they will continue. You will tell, they will repeat after you. For example, if it's about red, right hat, what big eyes you have to eat to you like this. Use masks finger puppets bring to the story life. You will find easily fairy tales in your websites, different cartoons and films. Let's I'll show some sample activities. For example, if we talk about Cinderella, 
In this Cinderella lab, what could you teach? How could you teach? What kind of activities could be useful to your young learner? If I have this fairy tale in my hand, and if I have a cotton of this fairy tale, I'll try to give the vocabulary about family. Or there are different colorful clues. I'll try to tell about clues, about shoes, slippers, about dress, or adjectives about the girls, beautiful girls, ugly girls, or even you can say about the telling the time. What time is it? She is always ready to go out. You may use this kind of vocabulary for teaching fairy tale Cinderella. There are in Cinderella, you have some repetitive texts. She tried the slipper, but it was too big or too small. She tried the slipper, it was a big or small. But the last one, when the Cinderella tried it, it was just right. You can sing as a song, you can tell it together with your young learners. Not only adjectives, you can use there some past forms of the verbs, tried on, waved on, torn. Don't forget, they are children. Don't give them the list of the irregular verbs. Try to give the easy verbs, like uh, for learning by heart and which way you use it in your uh, fairy tale. The next sample activity, it's uh, just with the help of the Snow White. Okay. While you are giving the Snow White, again, you can give the adjectives, landscapes, because there are too many uh, things just about uh, buildings, and they can easily find the just uh, adjectives, big, uh, beautiful building, or uh, houses, furniture, everything is mass, or like this. Snow White. In Snow White, you can use again the adjectives like yeah, uh, shy, happy, grumpy, or about the creatures, um, buildings, castle, tower, or small house, or inside the house, there are too many, just uh, furniture, cleaning the beds, kitchens, housework, this kind of vocabulary you may give beforehand, and they can easily understand while you are reading the Snow White. There is also some repetitive text we have, for example, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is practice of them all. This kind of repetitive text, they know already, they know the, just the order of the words in, in their own language and in the English language you will teach them. Next sample, Little Red Riding Hood. It's in Uzbek, we call it Qazil Shabkecha. It's also very famous among children, and they can easily listen and understand this fairy tale. First of all, you can use the animals in the forest, wolf or rabbit or food inside the box. You can just show it in real just life, was with real uh, things. For example, you may take the basket and put the apples, cakes as a red uh, riding hood's mother. You can just prepare this basket. Landscapes, also senses and parts of body easily could be used in this kind of fairy tales. Try to show your body and say, do you have a big eyes? Do you have a big nose or ears? Try to tell it together with fairy tale. What a big eyes you have, they help me to see. What a big mouth you have, they help me to eat. Like this, they can understand without translation because they know this uh, fairy tale very well. These are the sample activities and sample texts about the fairy tales. Now let's move to the just next part of the lesson. There are some links. You may easily enter to the bridge council links and easily find the huge number of fairy tales, cartoons, and different things. As a conclusion, I can say, try to use fairy tales because most of young learners are kinesthetic learners. They can learn from the mimes, gestures, and with the visual aids, and your voice also help them to understand your fairy tale. 
Try to use different fairy tales with happy end. Try to use the different cartoons to just telling the fairy tale. Try to involve your students' pupils to the telling these kind of fairy tales. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of my lecture. Это Боринг изучен Рахмат. Бугунги Марузан. Тамон.